Now, back to Coastal Living on KZTV. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Coastal Living. We are having so much fun. I wish it could be my birthday every day so that we could do all this fun stuff all the time. So to celebrate Balloons Around the World Day, we invited my friend Val Dino, who is a, how do you describe yourself? I'm a magician and an extreme balloon artist. An extreme oh, balloon wow. artist. So the magic we're going to save for Halloween, we get a little closer to Halloween. But Ooh, talk about extreme. I mean, you did all of these balloons. Oh, yeah. This is the guy that you might be familiar with because you see him at a lot of different events. Yes. And also you are famous for your works at Alamo Draft House. That's where we do most of our big things, oh yeah. Yeah, where you see some of the really big ones, this guy, he's responsible, you're welcome. All right, so tell me what got you started with balloon design. Well, I, I started off as a magician doing birthday parties, backyard stuff, but mm -hmm. a lot of people started asking me the question, do you know a balloon artist? And at uh -huh. that time, I didn't know any. Uh -huh. So I took it upon myself to learn. And then, of course, year after year after year, I got a little bit better until I realized that I actually had a knack for it as well. Uh, big time. How many years have you been doing this? Eight. Eight years. Oh, yes. And you're just completely self-taught? Or did you have to watch like YouTube videos? You would say it's a bit in half and half. But okay. when it came into the bigger stuff, you got to make it up on your own because okay. there's no, no blueprints. Yeah. And on average, how long does one of these larger pieces take you? Um, for these ones, each one took about maybe about an hour or so for the wow. bigger ones. An hour. An hour. The smaller ones, of course, are real quick. That takes like two minutes. Oh, yeah. Minutes. This is my favorite. Uh, oh, wow. Yes. This is Jocelyn's favorite. She <laughs> loves it. And um, so you, you mentioned that this is because you started, you were doing magic at parties and people were looking into this, so you just became really good at it, which is awesome. Something like that. They say some of the best, what is it, the survival mode is some of the, leads to some of the best creations or some of the best Something like that. I think you can see, right? I think it became a matter of survival because, I mean, around that time, I also looked at our job. Uh -huh. closed down so I had to survive off of what I knew. Well, it looks like you're doing really well for yourself now. So tell me, what's your favorite thing about doing what you do? You obviously get to make people really happy. Definitely. Of course, the smiles when they see the balloons walk in, as most of you guys had, like mm -hmm. the biggest, brightest smiles and the yeah. eyes just get bigger <laughs> it's as impressive. well. For myself, you actually get to see a lot of cool places as well. Who's um, that right there? Without a, which one? This one right here. Oh, that this one. one. Yeah. Well, some people have called it the octopus lady. It's actually the a um, gender lady. reveal, a balloon. Oh, oh cute. cute. Bring, bring it down. We'll show you a quick demonstration okay. of how that works. It's this is a small version of the large one that we do. Okay. All these are actually small versions of everything that we do. So uh -huh. believe it or not, these things get bigger. Okay. But the idea here is what we have is a pregnant balloon baby. <laughs> okay, well, I thought and she just had that, a lot to eat. That too. Oh, the cake was it's delicious, big I lunch, think. right? <laughs> yeah. And if you listen to there, there's some kind of stuff in there. Uh -huh. So your job here is to take that thing right there, pump okay. it out, and pop the belly to see what the gender may be just, oh, of nice. the metaphorical baby. We gotta pop it out. That is so oh, cool. I'm scared. There you go, it's oh. a knife. Oh. And then of course, oh. it's a girl! Oh. Oh, yeah, how cute! Of course, you can keep that in a souvenir afterward it. as well. I knew I wore pink today and she for went a back reason. to her pre-baby weight right away. Look how cute that is. <laughs> she looks great. I love it. Take so, yes, you need to hold that. I should not have a knife <laughs> in my hand. Um, so, are we going to do a little demonstration? Some yes. little basics? We're going to teach you how to make uh, nothing like this, of course. But this stuff, if you ever want it made, you can learn how to make it yourself. Or, if you don't get a professional, that's me. <laughs> Now, over here what we have is a standard balloon kit. This is the smallest kit that we pretty much have for doing all your basic stuff. You okay. have a whole array of assortment of Did different Did you say that's the smallest kit? Yeah, they get like bigger. There's 700,000 <laughs> balloons in there for you. There's about 3,000 right there. Oh, okay. So that's what happens close. here is what you always do, you always want to have a pump. Yes. Uh, pumps make it a lot easier. Old school people would still do it with the air, with and the lungs. And they pass out. <laughs> yeah, I can't even do that. So I have a fancy pump. Okay. And of course, in case that's too much for you, we also have regular pumps as well. These little hand pumps in case technology should fail you. Yes. You're going to learn right. from the beginning Woo. first. I'm ready. I now, used one of these this past weekend for a friend's birthday. Oh, fantastic. So now you get to choose a color of what you want to do. We're going to start off with learning how to make a dog. Okay. My dog mm -hmm. will be purple. Ooh, a doggy. And let's see, we'll go with, I guess, contrast and color. It is Halloween. We'll go with, I okay. guess, this one right here. Yeah. So what happens here is you're going to inflate about halfway. Just oh. like that. Look at that. So you know how to get fantastic. Oh, uh, make you a balloon <laughs> animal. Oh, uh, yeah. Whoa, you're, oh, is yeah, that that's, too much? That's fantastic. You're going to have a pretty large dog, and that's quite all right. Mine's going to be a more moderate <laughs> size one. Okay. Now, of course, you want to take the pump off your hands. Okay. So it's a little hard to do both. Thank you. We'll put that right there. Jossie's so, like our Vanna White. She's just I know, I'm just obsessed right? with this Don't octopus. Don't mind me. She's going to take it home. That's yours to keep afterwards. Yeah. Now, the trick to this is you want to tie it. Yeah, you're going to have a bad day if you don't tie it. My long nails. Let me see if I don't pop it. It's a little hard with okay. gloves as well, so I feel you. Okay, got it. Fantastic. Nailed so you got it. that down. Most people can't even tie a balloon. You got <laughs> that far. Next step is you want to make sure your balloon is soft. You don't want to have a very tense balloon. So you want to kind of well, essentially massage it by squeezing it to the very end. I'm not it's doing a this strange. on TV today. Oh, all right. So, okay. fantastic. Now, with soft, it should make it easier to twist. Uh, That's yes. one of the main tricks for using uh, balloon twisting. I guess, yeah, twisting balloons. If you want to make uh -huh. sure they're malleable, okay. that way they don't pretty much pop like this. Yes. Oh. Uh, <laughs> she's like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll start off by doing what's referred to as a twist. Um, usually about three fingers is what you do for about an average inch right there. Mm -hmm. And you'll twist it about that many lengths to start off with the muzzle of the dog. Okay. 
Next, you're going to make what's go. referred to as a kind of a flower petal, where you make about the average length, about the size of the muzzle right there. Okay, got you're going to twist it into that twist right there. Got it. Fantastic. They're Look telling me to just let you go because we're running out of time, but I feel like I got this. We're we going to do that two more times. Just right there, one there right there, go. and one right there, and you'll have yourself <laughs> a flower. <laughs> or, oh my gosh. Hold you're on, hold on. She's got an abomination. I know. Oh, have you done this before, Clarissa? No. I think so. Like, <laughs> other way, guys. I got it. I got it. It does not look like a dog. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our newest member to the team. How do we? Uh... Well, it could just be. Uh, it's okay. It's, it's a mosquito. <laughs> South Texas <Texas-y> mosquito. <laughs> and look who oh, it is. Dude, Matt is finally decided to join this us. This is one of our special creations right here. Look at that. He was trying it on. Of course, he yes. looked fantastic on it. Oh this man. Is a wearable oh, yeah. balloon art. I love it. Oh, yeah, so we have all different kinds of designs. We also have one more special one just for you okay. that we made. Uh, this one, of course. Oh my gosh, that's so cute! It's a balloon oh version. Oh my goodness! It looks just like me. Oh, here, of course, you got <laughs> the microphone, that. the guitar, and oh. everything right there. Look at that! Guys, how Fantastic. adorable is that? That's yours to keep. So happy cute. birthday! <laughs> oh, I don't need this guy. Oh yeah. Who needs Get that? out of here! This, right? <laughs> so cute. Well, thank you so much, Val, for joining us today. Val Dino, he is an expert, extreme balloon artist, and we hope to have you back for uh, Halloween to show oh, us yes. some of your magic. I'm pretty excited for that too. All right. Yes, we all Thank are. you for watching. Coastal Living will be right back. <laughs> <laughs>